lot of us want to be able to get outside and exercise and do that responsibly. So if you're walking, running, or biking side by side with someone, follow the usual rules and give yourself six feet of distance between each other. If you're behind someone who is walking, running, or biking, the guidelines are a little bit different. A preliminary study by aerodynamicists using simulations of micro droplets and saliva left behind by walkers, runners, and cyclists have shown that your best bet is to stay out of the slipstream, also known as the draft, of someone in front of you. In other words, to minimize your risk of exposure to viral particles from an athlete ahead of you, avoid drafting. Drafting involves placing yourself directly behind someone to reduce wind resistance. And if you've been intentionally drafting to gain a competitive advantage, you have to stop for now. The study says that to avoid the slipstream of someone directly in front of you, you need to keep a distance of about five yards between you and someone walking ahead of you. Now that increases to 10 yards between you and someone running ahead of you, and it's a staggering 20 yards for you and someone cycling ahead of you. You don't have quite that much space. You can drastically reduce your risk of exposure by staggering your position, meaning you can follow someone diagonally instead of being directly behind them at a six feet distance. So if a runner or cyclist passes you on a bike path, you can offset your position so you're diagonally behind them as they go around you, not directly behind them, and still keep your six feet of distance the whole time. And if you're going to pass someone while you're walking, running, or biking, Position yourself diagonally behind them with plenty of distance to spare as you approach them so you're never in their draft. <laughs>